Welcome back to the bars. Um, I mean the den. So, <laughs> thankfully for me, the poison in the bars wore off by the time uh, we were able to get here. We got the taste stone. We don't know where to use it, but it's something. It's a little awkward this ladder. So, I don't know, actually, if we can go out the door. You know what, let me just go down again. I didn't try picking the lock on the door. Maybe I could. Yeah, okay. So the other thing is, Ber if Bernice is gambling there, I mean, I didn't see for sure if she had a key on the belt. It looked like she did, but I'm not 100% about that. Guards around. Oof. Can't really see where the. Can barely see where the uh, grass is and where the gravel is. And that's pretty damn closed off, isn't it? I guess it opens technically, but I also expect I don't want anybody to have a way of opening it. On this side, at any rate. Oh, oh, there's a window up there. Can I reach that somehow? No. Get out that way. Guess I'm going back the way I came. <clears throat> Question is, is these guys going to be more alert than usual? Maybe I can get up the stairs. Worth a shot. I'm getting too jumpy. Yeah. While I'm up here, are these statues by the gate? Got any anything in happening with their eyes? No, they don't seem to even have eyes, okay. Not standard. Ooh. Let's get very lucky with uh, our guards not seeing me. Oh, maybe I can't get in here. Yeah, it's going to be a little hard to open, isn't it? Huh. Too many damn rats around here. <laughs> a door there that I could open, maybe. What's another window? Can I fit through that? Feels too narrow. Yeah. Definitely too narrow. Okay, this is a problem. I think I thought I could get into the upper floor from here. Mm. <sighs> Alright, well. Kind of a waste of time coming up here then. Hmm. Did I see something? No, 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 no. Calm down. Guess it was nothing. What was that? Hmm, maybe it was rats. 
Rats would be a bit of meat now and then. You want rats? I can tell you where to find a lot of them. Okay, we have... Two of these people coming back. Well, partly coming back. Okay. Definitely uncertain if they're just going to suddenly notice me and start running at me. I don't feel confident <laughs> about their lack of ability to see me here. Okay. Hey, did you notice anything? No, no. Good. And there's nothing in here for me, right? Oh, there's another boss. Okay. Might come in handy on upper floors. So what am I going to do? Does, does, okay, does, can I see a key on the belt there or not? Um, yeah, there's definitely a key, right? Once she moves her hand. Yes, okay. So we need to get her out of here somehow. The door is not openable from this side. So I want to go back in through the... into the dormitory all right uh, okay so we've been up there so I can cross off the laboratory I don't have the hearing stone no point coming back in there just yet although my question mark on the tower question maybe maybe I do go back in there like now they have rope arrows. Is there actually a way up that I didn't notice? Or is it a tower in terms of this technically is a tower, this is just the ground level of it. Yeah, okay. And this doesn't open, right? No, okay. the stairs I guess yes yeah, straight up the corridor is still probably the easiest way to do that once people have decided not to hang around in this room too much Those two are going up that way, which is good news for me. This other fellow's going to come and go across into the kitchen, right? Been in the restroom as much as I need to. Hello, what have I got? Ah, what have we got here? We got the guy standing right there. 
Thanks to the SQ banner. Another wheel? If you see the boss, tell him I've drawn a map of the fortress as he ordered. I've left it in the meeting room on the ground floor. Alphonse. Okay, Alphonse, I mean, thank you for the map. It is, it is definitely useful. It's just not as useful as it might be. It's a little light. It doesn't show those little side rooms that are of value to me, especially. Reminded all men, many prisoners have arrived these last few days. Yeah, 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 we've read that one. He's posted that in several places. Here, footsteps. Is that you, Kevin? Oh, that goes for, goes off even further. Oh, don't tell me you're coming up here, man. No, okay. Okay, that's a lot of moss. Alright, where are we? Next floor. So, we came up through the northeast. Burik's quarters is across the way. Alright, that's that's interesting. I wonder what he's got for us. Who's there? D did you say something? I said creep. I'm a door. Creep. Creep. I mean, maybe not what you wanted to hear, but these are the words I have. I will use them. Locked, of course. And these guys are coming back at the same time. Okay, Just stay well out of the way. I don't know if they might brush up against me. Have to see if we can pick that lock there. <coughs> Doesn't look like it. All right. So that's going to need a key. Uh, isn't there a dining room downstairs? Oh yeah, there's an upstairs one. I guess this is where the party was. Maybe I don't know. Just put out the candles. Oh well. She's coming back. I should have gone further, but uh, this is a nice little hidey hole, at any rate. Nice alcove. Fortunately for me, it was not a noisy floor in here, and there was nobody in here, because that could have gone very badly. Does anybody come in here? I don't think so. I didn't hear doors opening and closing, so I think it should be okay. Lots of valuables. Not sure about the kitchen, though. Maybe somebody comes and goes from the kitchen. It's possible. I mean, it's not a kitchen, right? 
guess it is. Kitchen. Kitchen -y. Kitchenette. Mini kitchen. Here is the threshold. Demonic voices in my head. <sighs> Why do I get the feeling I'm going to have to come back here before this is all said and done? Here is the threshold of the den. Give me eyes to spy on. Give me ears to listen. Give me nostrils to smell. Give me fingers to seize. Give me mouth to taste. And so I shall open the door. Right. Yeah, not creepy at all. Alright, well, I guess we should need to know that. That's the door. Once we have done all, found all the stones and fed them to their banners. Well, I guess Vinny was right to be a bit scared. That seems pretty scary stuff. You're just some ordinary thief, you know? All you are is just an ordinary thief. Do we have some way to controls here? No. Look like it. What was that? Is, is someone there? Uh huh. Why do I have so many fire arrows? They're not really the sort of equipment one would expect to be using against thieves. Leave me alone! Help me! Ugh. God, noisy floor. I'm trying to see what was in the sink. I didn't mean need to. You know what? Everyone's gonna think you just passed out on the floor. Yeah, doesn't seem to have any controls at all. All right. Too much partying, yeah. That doesn't look comfortable. I'll just leave you here. It's nice and warm. You'll wake up. Okay. Dining room. Spooky. Noted. Where am I going next? Uh, I should press N, which for some reason is bound to look down there. Uh, Alright. The great living room, where there is great living. So those might have people in them, this is the problem, I don't know. Yep. There's people there. Alright, let's... There's nobody in here at the moment. Does somebody come in here? I don't know, actually. I should keep an eye out on the uh, corridor. I'm going to be picking locks in here, just in case. Good enough, safe enough. Okay, so there's somebody in the living room, which is gonna make getting to the smoking room hard. Let's see what that room is across the way. The 
these. Just none of them seem to want to come in here. Mm, the strange noises. Here's this passage between the two rooms. Okay. No. Uh, I mean, this isn't even marked, right? It's not a secret passage, but we can get straight into the smoking room. It's probably worth noting. Ah, oh, they share a fireplace, do they? Do indeed. Can I put that out. It's pretty bright in here anyway. Um. <laughs> what was that? That's not my other lock pick. I've seen these portraits before, Lady Punchinello, and I've seen this one as well, Sir Berthold, Sir Remulus, Lady Birmingham, how come I can pick up Sir Remulus? Aha! <laughs> the smell, okay. Why does Bert have the smell? I don't suppose I know. Maybe I'll find out later, but that's fine. We do know where the smell is. So, um... I mean, it's wherever Garrett is, right? No, nothing of value here. Let's go around the outside here again because we'll be less visible at a distance. Who's making those noises? Noise? Quiet. You see that? That's that's valuable that is. That's taunting me too. Please don't give me a heart attack like that. Can't turn on the gramophone. phone. So that's candlesticks on the fireplace. If I put the fire out, is it going to be dark enough for me to get those, or do I have to come in via the balcony? Where is the balcony? The balcony's on the south side. You know, maybe I could have got to the balcony from below. I didn't really look up, did I? Hmm. Also, maybe the far side of the room is dark enough to get by anyway. Might try that. Wait for these patrolling guards to come and go. There's more valuables on the far side there as well. Is that you, Kevin? Yes, it was 
nothing. Why do I have so many feet? <laughs> Friends find a way to get around, and people are just hear footsteps approaching. I mean, I could have maybe gone for it, but I don't. Uh... I don't have a backup plan. Crossing here. I get I wanna go north out of here, right? I think. Probably seems like that's the best way to go. Straight across. If I go east out of here. I don't really have anywhere to stop. South is not where I haven't been. Wait a minute, where am I? Oh, I'm in here. No, I mean, what? I'm confused. This map doesn't doesn't match up with what I'm expecting to see. What I see out in the corridor there. Oh right, I'm in I'm in a little room out here. Uh, the face has a doorway here. Okay, I think. There's one more coming behind him. Here we go. Okay. What are these people reacting to? I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything. Strange. After this cavalous lady, cavalier, oh, shit. this room? Just another toilet, okay. Thought I saw something. <laughs> Shit, he didn't see me. Okay. No, not okay. <laughs> well, now it's okay. I suppose. Captain, he's in the way. I can't move. It's a little foolish for me to make a dash for it then, but uh, didn't know if I didn't feel like it was safe in the corner. Probably wouldn't have been. That would have been the kind of unsafe that I wouldn't have known about until it was even much too late. Is there anything in the window behind the curtain? There is. Looks like a little switch. That's 
very much of interest to me. See that someone smashed the mirror for some reason. Oh. I just think it was just a painting would move aside and reveal some uh, valuables, but no, this is much more valuable. Passageway. Ah, it's only, it's not, it doesn't actually lead anywhere. Oh. We have... Dungeon? I mean, there's, let's mark that. Kind of going out there, but it's like... Can't get in from here, but we can see it from here. Wait, it's a bedroom? Wait, this isn't the hostage's bedroom, is it? Maybe this is just the hostage's bedroom. Maybe it's like, yeah, we'll hide the hostages in a uh, creepy, noisy bedroom because nobody, none of us want the creepy, noisy bedroom. I mean, and that's fair enough. I wouldn't want the creepy, noisy bedroom either. Which one is this? And oh, now it's another hostage's bedroom, okay. Develop a scroll. Day three. I must write down what I am living through to avoid sinking in melancholy. I can't stand this anymore. I'm on the edge. I'm overwhelmed. I develop uh, de bois boyer de pain de vie de vie. Third of the name. Doing my bodily needs in a pot? An ordinary wooden bowl? Oh, Builder Almighty, what am I doing in this miserable place? I hate that last sign and his henchmen with all my soul, those who have abducted me from my sweet existence. Even food is loathsome in this goddamn place and everything is dirty. My bed is just a straw mattress that tortures my back every night and I hear strange noises in the walls. I dare not imagine what is making those noises. Those bloody thieves. They only let us go to the bathroom once a week. Once I desperately tried to reach the toilet and one of those fellows caught me and literally cut a piece of my ear. Oh, I want to go back home. They captured me in my own room, in my mansion, during the night. And now they demand a ransom from my relatives. The problem is that I do not have any relatives. Do they know it? Fortunately, shortly after my capture, I managed to hide a few rings I was carrying. I swallowed them when I had the chance, and then I recovered them from my feces. Oh, I know it is not very elegant, but to hell with dignity when your goods are in danger. I have just found a secret hiding place. In fact, I am sure this house is full of them. I have placed my rings in the hiding place where those dirty men will not be able to find them. There's also a little hole in one of the cracks of the wall from where I can see and hear what goes on in the opposite corridor. Ah, if I could overhear a conversation about a way out of here. Day four. I hate Larson. Today, from my secret hiding place, I've heard two thieves speaking. They spoke about their master. I, th I think I understood that he's only in the fortress in the evenings and his accomplices were wondering about his strange absence the rest of the time. I don't care whether he's here or not, but one of them laughed and said that the boss had quit rum to drink invisibility potions. I did not understand that very well, but I was not the only one, because his companion asked him to explain further. Well, he went on, every evening he goes up to an apartment, and when we enter it two minutes later, he is no longer there. Then nobody has seen him go out. And his friend replied, you idiot, he's in his secret office. Secret office? What for? If he has a secret office, it is to avoid being continuously upset by people like you. Then they turned around and went on with their watch. I wanted to hear more, but I am patient. I will eventually overhear some critical information. I will wait. For how long? Well, oh wait, was that a secret place? What I just found in the bathroom? Because he heard people speaking from there, maybe? Oh, 
Where's my loot pile? Was the last thing I picked up rings? No, it's a necklace. I don't think he would have swallowed that. This is a secret place. And you're right, you can observe what's going on there. Just barely. <laughs> well, I hope you wash those rings before I put my fingers on them, man. That's good, because I did not see that at all. I mean, now that I know it's there, I can just see something funky there, but that was very well hidden, as far as the door goes. Flies buzzing around his butt, of course. Uh, hang on. The smell! Because what I hear that guy was, if he had the ring, maybe he could have ransomed himself with that. With those three rings, he just said, you know. But I guess I might have just taken them by force and not, not decided to let him go. Alright, what have we got up that way? Southwest Tower with a guard snoozing. I think that's the guard who walks down this hallway. I don't know whether he walks back the same way or not, so let's just wait and watch. No, maybe they don't come down this way at all. Of course, the one that comes down here is the one I knocked on the head. Silly. Maybe. Maybe not. They've got to come back this way, don't they? I don't know. I know, the whole way keeps going. Okay. <coughs> forbidden area. Last sign has ordered this sector to be closed. Entry by anyone who is forbidden. Any who disobey will answer to me and my blade. Laverick. Okay, that's locked. Guys, I'm gonna need to take the generators out. There's no way I can get this without uh, knocking them on the head or turning the power off, right? <coughs> oh, it's even it's gonna be out of my reach. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Or not, not quite, okay. But the other, certainly. Dang it. Money! But light. Let's do that face. I mean, I could flash bomb them and knock them all out, but... I'm still trying to be secret at the moment.
Well, I mean, technically it's more dangerous having those guys out there, but door open, but it will mean I could come and go that way if I want. We reach scroll one. Doc, I'm entrusting you with a spare key to my room. I did well. I trust you are the only other soul in this place who would take proper care of it. If you need to go to Lost Sun's apartments, I have his spare key, but don't forget to reset the beast before you leave. My duties require my absence. I trust that you will do all that is in your power to make sure my and Lost Sun's quarters remain secure. Also, no one is to disturb the boss. This is of paramount importance, especially at this time. I count upon your vigilance, Labarique. The beast? Okay, Labarique has spare... Where's Labarique? He has spare key. Well, let's write it down here. Good knowledge. Ah, oh, Doc is here. Okay, let's not disturb him just for a minute. See if he hit it well around his bed. No, he's going to have hidden it in this room, isn't it? What was that? If I was Doc, where would I be hiding that key? Is that a window? That's just a niche. Uh, okay, that's the locked door with Doc's room. Okay. Does he have a key on his belt? Does not appear to. He also moves around a lot. Very inconsiderate, inconvenient way. Diary. 2812. Today we arrived in the fortress. By the creator, what a mess. This building is a ruin. Water oozes from everywhere and rats have invaded the place. Sam has injured himself by lifting a beam. I relieved him from his pain using a concoction of mine, an herbal tea associated with cornflower oil. This potion proves to be very useful for healing blow injuries and hematomas. Let's note that this potion is difficult to keep and must be used within five days. There was a mild earthquake today. Seismic tremors must be common in this region. A section of the house foundations has crumbled on the north side. I don't know if Larsen also intends to repair that. Each man had begun to work to set these rooms back on its feet that is the fortress. We now have electricity and rooms that are almost fit to live in. We have the floors furnished with our spoils. Some rats still remain. Bernice has again stolen some arsenic powder from me. Damn it, will this girl ever cool down? She's determined to do scientific research. Ugh, let me laugh. Yet half of the men who came to her now complain of various aches. Some even came to consult me with Burns. Larsen ordered that she have her own laboratory installed. And me, nothing. I fulminate against this injustice. I adapt to my new environment. This fortress fascinates me more and more. I wonder when it was built. It seems very ancient. Vinny complains of hallucinations. I tried me patwee tea, but it did not appease his visions. I shoved my official liver oil ointment on his temples. 20th January. I came upon all notarized acts and other documents forgotten for a long time. Very interesting. The fortress had been built over the ancient ruins of a palace destroyed by a tremendous earthquake. I learned that long ago it was used as a garrison during the Ashes War. Then it was sold to nobles from the vicinity, next to Hammerite, and later to numerous others. Though a surprisingly long procession of owners followed one another within these walls. Ah, oh, Vinny came back to consult me. He says Savelle liver oil has no effect on him. He still suffers from his visions, always linked up to these awful statues exposed in the corridors. He also hears voices. I am anxious, all the more so since young Linus also seems to suffer from these disorders. I must confess I am helpless facing this phenomenon. Could it be coming from some toxic fumes emanating from the walls or panelling? 24th. Last hand has blocked up part of the house, the part mentioned in the old documents. A pity. Even if this smashed walls place gives me good flesh, I am sure there are still interesting things to read in the small library there. Parik came to see me for a key. It is true that he and Larsen are up and out with Ely Billy. Why do they need such ridiculous nicknames? And a few others. Where on earth can they go? They never let me into the secrets. 25th. I kept on reading the documents found in the place blocked up by Larsen. It is quite frightening. 
If I can read between the lines correctly, long after the Great Earthquake, all the various owners or people of their family circle met with untimely deaths. That explains the hasty and numerous successive sales of the house. A victor came to consult me, bleeding. He had fought with his friend, a so-called Luigi. Oh, a bit of cornflower oil. Nothing is better. 26. I read again the documents from the Forbidden Area. A name always crops up. Bertold, a collector famous in his time. One of the first buyers of the house after the Ashes War. I remember I saw him in the small portrait room, a plump man with a severe expression. Okay. Uh, what was the other bit he said? Section of the house foundations crumbled on the north side. I guess that's probably here, right? Probably. I didn't see any sign of anything here, so... Those aren't anything. Didn't hide the key here, no. Right, he's got a potion there. How am I gonna how am I to get that stuff with him wandering around? Can I get that stuff with him wandering around? I don't know, let's move the bottle out of the way. Dark enough here. Hmm. Where will you be hiding that key? Uh, yeah. I mean, you said Barik came to get the spare key, but surely it's it's not gone, gone. There's just a little bowl there. We can get across that bowl and see if it's in there. I, mean, I suppose I should just have a flash bomb ready, right? In case he gets spooked. Oh, he didn't wait this time. shouldn't interrupt me. I shouldn't even be here. I should be... I should be in a game or something. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Hmm. Sudden brightness. that works. <laughs> hmm. Thought I saw something. Okay. He did hide it fairly well, I'm didn't getting he? too jumpy. He's not very, doesn't notice very much, does he? The key to Bariks. That's good news. All right. Plans. 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 Okay. That's Doc's quarters. Been in there. That's that's locked. And we need a key, but I don't actually need it. So. Uh. Wait. That's that's wrong. That's not the Southwest Tower, right? This is. The Northwest Tower was was here. In the northwest. I haven't been to the southwest tower. I guess that's where I'm going next. Whoops, wrong button. Did 
Do we have someone patrolling past here? I think maybe we do. I like that he ran out looking for the guards and very quickly just said, eh, it was nothing. But I guess he didn't see me? I guess he just heard the bowl? Or something? Mm. Whatever. Either way it worked out for me, so... It is a tower. The floors do not communicate. Uh, yeah. What did that move? Did I see what that moved? Oh shit. Nothing. Hmm. It's quiet now. I thought he might walk right round and walk into me, but no. To move something out here? No. What did this do? Was oh, it up there? Yeah. Okay. Hearing. Carrot, you can get that, can't you? Great. Right, well, we've got uh, we've got the stone for the hearing. You know, I may should probably make it, note these down. Right, we've got the taste stone. Taste, hearing, smell. It's five of them. So presumably we'd get some more clues as to where they were, but. I guess we don't need them. Are you the one that comes in here? Yes. <coughs> this is... Oh, it was someone else walking this way. Okay. Which room is that? This room. Of course, that's the uh, smokingy, roomy, whatever. Great living room and stuff down there. Okay. Well, let's make a move while we have a moment. And hope we find a dark corner to hide in. Alright, there's a dark enough corner here. That we can maybe make some progress. These guys are going to be coming quite soon, I think. Yeah. No? Yes. That's one of them. Where's the other one? He's on his way. <coughs> he 
good news is they're not going in that little alcove place. Good news for me. Bad news is that other guy's window looks out here. Yeah. Somewhere out there. Just rats again. <laughs> Alright, you saw me through the curtains, I guess. God, it is too bright. It is too bright. Much too bright. Was something just there? Nay. It's suddenly so bright. Look at the guards coming out. They're going to be coming out the door in a minute. You know, I'm going to. I've got so many mosses, I'm going to put one here to make this bit easier. Can I waste one of these on the fire? Is it sensible? Maybe not. I'm gonna waste two of them on the fire. That is what was lighting me up, so... I guess it was worth it. There's lots of valuables in this corner. I would say that was worth it. <sighs> Can I get that other one without being spotted? No. Not from here. Unless maybe... Nah, it's too far away. Well, looks all right. Well, let's make a note. Where are we? Where are we? Some great living room, smoking room. We need to come back out there. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's check out this balcony. Let's have some fresh air again. Okay. So we definitely came past the balcony, right? Yes. <sighs> oh, this is wood. It doesn't look like wood on the side, but it's wood on the top. So, uh, hmm. I'm not sure if we could have got here from below. I could sneakily stick a uh, rope hour in here at a funny angle. If I thought it would be useful. Do I think it would be useful? Do I have any reason to come back down out here? Not particularly. So let's not bother. Repulsive rats, that's your problem. Okay. Can maybe get out to that corridor again, but maybe I don't need to. What's this way? Uh, where are we? 
Oh, that's just that pass back to the central room. Uh, don't, don't love the central room. Oh, good. That particular monologue is kind of interesting to me because it's, it's a very dishonored like monologue. Right, and dishonored. I thought I heard something. People are always saying long monologues themselves about things, but beef is usually short the ones. Alright, where's my plan? What's my plan? Where am I going? North? East, east, yes, we need to get back to Boriks. Shit, again. Okay. Noise was me sneaking back here. Hmm. I think I can get by without being seen, but I have to do it not being heard as well, which would be tough. There we go. Speed is of the essence when trying not to be seen, and noisy floors make it hard. Thankful for all the moss. Okay, so now I want to head back north. She's where I want to be. That's all right. She's going to go around the corner. He shouldn't be in here, right? All right, well, well... La Bourique has a Bourique head mounted on his wall. Anyway, uh, I will end the episode here. Thanks very much for watching, and next time we will see what we can find in here, and hopefully, La Sensperky. I'll see you then.